What is going on, swooshers? Welcome back to Swoosh Luke. In this episode, the first for 2021, we will be talking about the Nike drop that just happened. Collingwood's new apparel sponsor is Nike or Nike, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call it Nike throughout this video, so I apologize if that's wrong, but let's just run the intro, jump straight into it. So just before we do jump straight into it, of course, follow me on all my social medias. Uh, TikTok, I started posting there again. Instagram, daily, always, always. I'm most contactable on Instagram. You know, all the best Collingwood content coming straight for you. That's at Swoop Luke. Everything's at Swoop Luke, but that's at Swoop Luke. And uh, Twitch, haven't been streaming much. It's been so crazy, holidays and, and stuff like that. But I will get into it. We've got to finish Last Hope. Uh, I've got FIFA. There's a bunch of stuff. But... Most importantly, if you are a new swooper, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me for season 2021. Thank you so much for joining us. It is a Collingwood family here at Swoop Luke. So if you like what I'm putting out, if you like the content, hit subscribe. Hit the notification bell to get notifications whenever I release a video. And if you are a returning swooper, welcome back. Welcome back. But to everyone, Happy New Year. Merry Christmas if you celebrate. Happy Holidays if you don't. Let's just talk about this Nike stuff now. So... As of this morning, footy's worst kept secret, or Collingwood's worst kept secret, came to fruition. Collingwood signed a deal with Nike to be our apparel sponsor. We've already had them um, with the girls' netball team, and now they're with the men's and the girls sponsoring us for the seasons ahead. It is a long-term commitment with Nike, which is amazing. You know, they're one of the biggest... Um, just companies, not even apparel companies, just one of the biggest sporting companies and companies in the world. And it's awesome that, you know, we get to have this Nike swoosh, this Nike tip, uh, tip, this Nike tick on our jerseys. And, you know, we are one of the biggest clubs in Australia and, and having Nike or, uh, Adidas or, or even, you know, Puma as well, one of the big sort of, um, manufacturers, just says a lot about our club, and we're finally there. We've finally got that Nike tick that we've been, we, we've known it for so long, but we've finally got it today. In the statement that they got released by the Pies, our CEO, Mark Anderson, said, Our focus is to always partner with world leading brands, ones that are global best practice to ensure we remain innovative and leading the way for our teams and programs. Our partnership with Nike provides a perfect example of this principle in action. So I love that. Our focus is to always partner with world-leading brands. The last world-leading brand that we had was Adidas, and that was years ago. We then went to Star Athletic, which was just a flop. Those jerseys sucked. We then went to ISC, which is, I'm pretty sure it's an Australian-based company, so not one of the world leaders. And they were okay, not the best, but now Nike, and we could be with them. I'm hearing on the grapevine, that it is a very, 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 very long-term deal. And the Holden Center will be renamed to the Nike Performance Center. Here's what Eddie McGuire had to say about the Nike partnership. We spoke with Nike about not only seeking an ad apparel partner, we were seeking a whole of club partner with whom we share a common future vision. Today, that vision is becoming a reality. So that to me says, yes, we're going to change our Holden Center name to the Nike Performance or the Nike Center or Nike Performance Center rolls off the tongue a little bit better than Nike Center, but that's huge for the club. I'm hearing at least 10 years or so, whatever it may be though, like I keep saying in this video, a Nike tick is, uh, mate, we've got the Nike tick of approval pretty much and seeing them on the, I can see them on my screen now, seeing them on the jerseys, on the hats, on, on everything, incredible and I cannot wait to get my hands on it and you best believe I will be doing an unboxing and a review video. All right, so here's the Nike apparel range. When you jump onto the official club website, you can see Grundy rocking that uh, bucket hat. And look how nice that tick looks. Absolutely beautiful. Look at Taylor Adams twice. They could, there's, you know, 40 odd players. They could have got someone else, but I think that's a bit of a sign of the future captain, maybe. Look at that steel side bottom small. Jesus Christ. All right, so let's scroll down, see what we're working with. Let's go to Guernsey's. Shop now. Yes, we will be. All right. Look at this. Uh, Kids Clash, whatever. It's all the same. Look at that. Look at those pinstripes. You guys wanted the pinstripes back, and you've got it. You can kind of see 
the uh, breathable holes in that mesh, sort of, kind of looks like a mesh um, jersey. But uh, I love this one. This is the one that I bought, and you can see on the back as well. It's predominantly white. It looks pretty much all white, kind of like the older waist strips of, you know, back in the day. Uh, sorry, the old home strips from back in the day. Uh, you can see here the one that we just looked at. It's the home jersey. You can see the other side's got CGU. The new, a um, couple of new t-shirts, black and white. That looks really cool. This is awesome. I really like this. I didn't, I didn't cop one, but this is really, that's really nice. The, um, the zip top, keep you warm during winter. Everything looks so much better with a Nike tick on them. I love that. This is dope. Bit, bit too, it's a lot, very expensive, $210, so I didn't buy one. Uh, let me know if you did, because they're awesome. But it's the weatherproof um, or waterproof jacket. Perfect for winter games at the MCG if you're, you know, on level one and stuff like that. Bucket hat, bang. You know, that is $40 for a bucket hat. Again, a little bit expensive, but it's nice. So you're paying a little bit more, you know, for how good the uh, the quality is and stuff like that. So I like that. I might cop that one. I didn't pre-order it or order it, but I might cop that. Couple hats, couple tennis hats. Training shorts, training shorts, training shorts. These singlets, ah. Oh, I love these singlets. I like the cutaway that that they've got at the moment. I've got this one, Wolf Grey. How cool is that, Wolf Grey? I know uh, we're not a grey team, but I reckon that's really cool. Nice and simple. These these ones, short sleeve, uh, the short sleeve one here, and the long sleeve one. I always get a short sleeve every couple of years. The last one, actually, that's a lie, because the last one I have, and you'll see when you, um, well, during this video is the star athletic one but um i've got that one on order and this long sleeve one is dope i will get it but i'll probably get it towards uh the wintery months because there's no real points in me spending 55 dollars and just wearing a singlet and a short sleeve anyway but anyway swoopers those are the jerseys those are the the merch the gear yes you know this jersey doesn't have a bit of a would have looked nicer with a black cuff but what can you do those are the jerseys that's the collingwood nike stuff Cannot wait to get these uh, in the mail and review them for you. But anyway, swooshes, that's just been my quick video about this Nike partnership. Um, let me know in the comments below if you're going to cop any of this Nike gear. I've got a bunch coming. I cannot wait to get it. They're at the Collingwood shop. Rebel will be stocking them soon enough. They're not stocking it at the moment because I went there and I got turned away. But let me know what you're going to get. Let me know if you pre-ordered some stuff. Cannot wait to see these at the MCG, um, you know, and Eddie had it, and wherever else, just across Australia, when we're finally allowed into games. But, like, comment, subscribe, tell your family, tell your friends, tell your pets, and until next time, double shackers, I'll sweep you later. Ooh la la.